is up. Look at that bad boy right there. We finally got it. And the first thing we're going to do is bitch a little bit. <laughs> we'll get into bitching about the game itself afterwards. I'll give you some gameplay first. But before we get to the gameplay, let's bitch about this one thing that doesn't have anything to do with the gameplay. Everything to do with the dumbass decision they made regarding this mode. Now, don't get me wrong. I appreciate NetherRealm Studios' um, commitment to providing a significant amount of first player, not first player, of single player content in their games. That's kind of what they're known for. Um, and so obviously this is single player stuff. It's fine. I get it. However, the problem is that I think, in my opinion, they set this up stupidly. As you can see, every single one of these missions, Superman mission, 1, 8, 9, 10, etc., then we go Batman, 11 through 20. Catwoman, 21 through 30. It's all character-based. And you have, obviously, as you can see, 20 stars needed to unlock. So I need to get 20 stars so I can play any of Catwoman's missions. Hello, puppy. She wants to play Catwoman's missions. She wants to beat up the pussy. Yeah. Isn't that right, puppy? Isn't that right? All right, so anyway. Um, and the reason, I mean, obviously, it made it even more stupid. Because here was the first, not the first character, but here was the character that I ended up picking to try and play... I ended up sticking with that anyway, but still, let me show you the placement of the character that I first dedicated myself to playing. Ares. That was my dude. If I wanted to play his missions, I had to unlock 350 stars using a shit ton of characters I could not care less about. That is just ridiculous. It's stupid. They should have set it up so that, like, at the very beginning, you have stage one of everybody's missions available and then you need 10 stars however many to unlock level two of everybody and so on and so forth until you unlock all 10 that way it still promotes using and learning various characters and not just maining one but you're not shoehorned into fucking playing like i couldn't care less about superman i don't care about batman Catwoman I actually do care about because that's the character that I'm playing right now. But like, out of all these characters, let me just show you, out of all these characters, look at this. There'd be 12 per side, right? That's 24 total for those of you that are amazing at math like me. That's like trigonometry shit right there that I just did. Yeah. One of six right there that I would care to learn. Two of 12 right there that I would care. Actually, I'd probably use Shazam. Shazam actually looks pretty cool. So, 3 of 12 on this side that I would give a shit about learning. On this side, 1, 2, 3. I care about 25% of the cast. Look at me just doing this math like non-stop. 25% of the cast I give a shit about. The other 75%, I don't care. I could not care less. So that Star Labs shit is just like the dumbest. Yeah. Yeah, you know what pissed me off, though? Where is it at? This shit. I do all this single-player shit. I was doing the uh, the battle mode stuff where you do, like, a series of battles with, you know, some stipulations thrown in there. Uh, I went all the way through story mode, which was... That was another... I did not like... I didn't, I didn't pay attention to story mode at all. I skipped every single cutscene. But doing all of that, and I got this dude's... <laughs> The, I, I didn't even use this guy. I haven't used this guy once. And I got this dude's alternate costume first. I think I got this guy's too, didn't I? No, that's, that's no. Nope, nope. I know I got somebody's. The resume shit is just, uh... That's an unlockable costume. It's not actually like... Oh, wait. Was that? No, that's an unlockable too. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it. So we're just gonna be doing now... I am not any, we're doing medium, because I am not in any way competent in this game. I'm trash. Like, I'll get to it after I do this. We're going to do a best two out of three so you can see how trash I am. And then afterwards, I'll talk about, like, how if I had recorded yesterday like I wanted to, it would have been even goddamn worse. Ow. I didn't even combo. God damn it. No! No! 
Oh, that was a grab. Did you just blow me up? That's a dick move. How the hell did that miss? I ain't even mad about it. I ain't even mad about it. Shit, I don't know how to confirm on that. That's my one problem with cat. Well, I have. A oh my god, that's an interactable. Way to confirm there. But that's my biggest problem with Catwoman uh, so far is that, like, I, I need to learn corner combos. Because, like, I'm just doing the regular. Oh, wow. I'm just doing the regular shit. Ow. I did not mean to do that. You whore! You whore! Wow, that was. Okay. Really? Really? You're gonna wager? I don't think they actually do shit. I'm gonna waste on the meter. I don't even give a shit. I don't even give a damn. What? That was right in his damn face. Oh, he's not. My bad. No! It's okay, though. He's dead. Well, maybe. Okay, good. He's dead. Yeah, I won. Um. What was I gonna talk about? I forgot. I forgot. Interactable suck. Let's go with that. <laughs> That's always a solid move to go through. I hate the interactables. I, I, terrible system. Absolutely stupid system. Oh my god, I forgot our backdash was... Terrible. God damn it! God damn it! Oh god damn it! I actually like that one better. Like, nobody uses that ender that I've seen, like, in combo videos and shit. God damn it. What? What the fucking interactables? That's what I have to say about that shit. Please kill him. Oh, he's not gonna die. Oh my god. I need to, I need to, I need to redo. What the, that was, wow. I need to redo the uh, tutorial. So I can remember all that shit. Like, I can't remember how exactly you're supposed, uh, how you're supposed to do. God damn whore. That combo, that's stupid, that combo. No! God, that's an overhead. Ooh, I didn't know we could duck that. Good to know that you can duck that. That's, I thought that might have actually been like a decent kind of zoning tool, but now that I know you can duck it. God damn it! I told you I'm terrible. I told you I'm terrible. Okay, that's good. That's a good move. I need to use. I need to use that more. That's an overhead too. Like, look how fast that. Like, that's an overhead. That's hella fast. That has amazing range. All right, so I'm done. I'm done wasting your time showing you how shit I am with Catwoman. I got obviously I got to work on some stuff. That's why I'm not playing online yet. I have a lot to work on. But let me tell you why it is much better that I did this yesterday and not, I mean, did this today and not yesterday. So, basically my problem coming into this game was that did, I did not blank slate it. I did not come in with zero expectations without thinking I knew how the system might work without, basically, I came in thinking that this was going to be like your average fighting game from like Capcom or Arc System Works or SNK, you know, whatever. The problem with this game is that, like, in terms of combos, frame data doesn't count for shit. Like, there is no, oh, this is plus eight on hit, so you have to use a move that comes out within eight frames in order to combo, to continue the combo on this character. Like, the combos in this game, at least as far as I have seen, at least as far as Catwoman works, at least as far as Ares worked, literally mash the buttons as fast as you possibly can because i kept doing for instance aries well actually both aries and catwoman they're jumping too if you hit somebody with it they'll like stagger backwards a couple steps that doesn't count for shit like you would think since they're staggering backwards they're in a staggered animation that would mean you could logically conclude that you are capable of comboing this person until they're done being staggered but that's not true. Like, you literally have to confirm... Often, let me just actually... It'd probably be easier to just show. In case some of you may not know how it works. Catwoman, the Joker. 
See, look at him stagger backwards like that. Like you would think throughout the entire process of that stagger, he would be comparable. That's, that's the logical conclusion to seeing that, right? Now actually watch what happens. That didn't combo, right? We just saw it. That was four hits. That chain I just did, four hits. That didn't combo. That makes no damn sense. That confused the fuck out of me. You literally have to mash. Like, you legitimately have to mash. Just insanely hard. There is no, like, there is no links. Like, if you don't mash this, if you try to, like, stagger, like, oh, okay, that confirmed, I'll hit X again. You can't do it. You have to just hit it. Well, that was actually not what I meant to do. But look at that. I hit the Y before the first X was even finished moving. But she continued that string. That fucking baffles, like, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. That shouldn't happen. That's not how shit works. I should have to time this. <laughs> so that was fuck, that was mind fucking me. How like, like that, that just combo. But that does not combo. That blows my mind. I cannot, it, I, it doesn't make sense. So that's why, like, up until yesterday, I was thinking, Wow, jump-ins just have no hit stun whatsoever. Like, I must have to immediately, like, hit these as deep as humanly possible in order to combo one. That's not true. It has nothing to do with deepness. You just have to mash. <laughs> like, plain and simple. That's just, that's all you gotta do. You just gotta mash. That, like, that doesn't make sense to me. So enough about that one. Um, the other thing that I need to work on, actually, the one thing I think I kind of like about Catwoman is that, um... Oh, you can't cancel it. Is that she doesn't really seem... I don't... Like I said, I need to work on corner combos, and maybe there's something there with corner combos. But as you can see, her basic... Oh, it didn't come out. But anyway, that just right there just did 25% damage. If I had finished that and gotten that move out, that would have done, like, another, I think, like, 6 or 7%. I actually need to... Hmm... See, I was actually... No, there's too much. Okay. I was thinking that if I could find a way to cancel that stance, that might be a good way to continue pressure, but it looks like there's too much recovery. But I wanted to test that real quick. Um, It doesn't seem like she needs any of the, like, meter... Like, obviously, if you hit the right button, they do, like, the super meter burn thing right there. Like, for instance, that is actually good if I get somebody in a juggle. If they're in the... If I get an air-to-air -air confirm, that's useful because, like, it real actually... I can just show you. Like that. It re-staggers them. It's not, it's not good to use like that. Because I've already used my bounce. I can't do anything. It's not worth the meter right there. But if I catch somebody in air-to-air, -air, that'd be very useful. Other than that, I really have not found a use for Catwoman's meter. Like, and which is, I think is good. Like, you don't have to use her meter to get very good combos. You don't have to use her meter for good confirms. I can use her meter for all the other stuff it's useful for, which I think is great. However, that's another thing now that I think about it that I, 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 don't, I, I can't understand how meter gain works in this game. Like, I don't know if it's maybe different in single player shit, but there's basically countless times where I'm doing like the battle mode stuff, and as I got better, as I started to beat the AI more and more, I noticed that like, I was just beating the shit out of the opponent. I was getting like perfects and whatnot, and then they would end up meter burst or not meter bursting. They'd end up um, what's it fucking called? What's that shit called? What's the goddamn burst called? I can't even remember already. Wager is that, that I, whatever. Anyway, and I would notice like I have two and a half meters after all this time. I haven't been touched. I've been doing nothing but beating the shit out of these dudes, and I have two and a half meters, and they got a full they got a full bar. They got all four. That doesn't make sense to me either. Like, do you get more meter for getting your ass kicked than you gain for doing the ass kicking? That's, I mean, if that's actually true, that's weird to me. Like, I'll be perfectly honest, like, I am talking about this game, I am evaluating it. Thank God I switched from Ares to Catwoman, because I'm actually enjoying playing Catwoman and learning Catwoman. I hated Ares. God, I hated Ares. I hated the game. I'm still not big on the game. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm still not gonna buy it. It's not my cup of tea overall, but I do like, at least I do like Catwoman. And I like playing as her, and I am enjoying my time playing with her. <laughs> uh, anyway. 
And so at the very least, hopefully I will stick with it long enough to get some multiplayer stuff, get some comment, um, get some videos for you, etc. For those of you who wanted to see it. But overall, I just, I don't like it. I feel like the, see, like, if I was just looking at this game like this, just staring at the game like this, this is a beautiful fighting game. The backgrounds are detailed. Joker looks awesome. I love how Joker looks. Catwoman looks pretty damn cool, too. Ares looks awesome. Bane looks all like, the, without actually moving, the game looks fucking great. I love it. But then you actually get into, like, the animation of moves. You get into, like, they're swinging and stuff. And so many moves don't even hit. Like, the hitboxes don't even really look like they're connecting. It looks like you're watching a shitty kung fu movie. Like, a dubbed kung fu movie. There, I mean, a subbed kung fu movie. Where, like, you can see that they're pulling the punch. And they whiff by, like, six inches. <laughs> stuff like that. And I hate when it looks like that. It looks retarded. I just, I really do not like how this game in general looks. It looks clunky, it looks awkward, and I don't like it. And that's a big, A aesthetics are, unfortunately, a damn big, uh, I cannot think of the word. It's a big factor in whether or not you enjoy a game. Like, if you find a game aesthetically displeasing, then obviously that's going to hurt your enjoyment of the game. Like, overall, graphics don't matter all that much if the gameplay is fantastic. But that's never been, really been true for me in a fighting game. Like, that's everything else. Like, if I'm playing a shitty PS2 game that has, like, 1987 graphics to it, but the story is awesome, then that's fantastic. I'll keep playing it. But in a fighting game, like, the movement, the graphics, everything that's going on matters. And so that's a big factor to me in not liking this game. On top of that, I just think there's a lot of really stupid shit about the game, the combo thing, for one, is dumb to me. I really don't like it. Um, interactables, like I said, I fucking hate them. I mean, right now, it, it would it would lessen from hatred down to, like, a significant annoyance had I actually sat down, played all the stages, learned all the interactables, where they hit, etc., etc. But it's still a dumbass system. Like, you hear people talking about, like, oh, yeah, with Superman on this stage, I get, like, an immediate, if I hit you, I get, like, an immediate 80% damage solely because I can use this interactable. God damn it, shit, it's falling off on my chair behind me. I immediately get, like, 70, 80% damage on you because I can reset you into this interactable, and it's unblockable. You can't do anything about it. That's cool. That's fantastic. Great system, you dumbasses. And, there, I mean, there's a lot of things that kind of irk me, like, little things that irk me about the game. Which is why I'm not buying it, which is why I'm not, you know, trying to support it non-stop. Why I did not buy it when it first came out. But I will give y'all some content. I will play it. Uh, and like I said, I have a lot of stuff to learn. Th again, thank God I did not record yesterday because I would have been even worse. Uh, since I didn't know about the whole jump in. I didn't know that combos were how fast you could hit the buttons and had nothing to do. Actually. See, I actually was not aware of that. That X, see, that's why I need to go back to the tutorials. I can't remember all the button combinations. I didn't know that hitting X and Y together was what got you RB as well. What gets me RT? I don't think that actually got... I don't think that worked. I want to I want to figure this out. That was definitely wasn't it. So I want to figure out what the button combination is to do that, to do the meter burning shit, but I don't know what it is. I need to go back to the tutorial, and I'll do that off camera. So I'll stop wasting your time. Like I said, I'll have more of this eventually. It might take a little bit because I have been involved in a lot of other stuff and I'm also going on vacation uh, next week, so I won't be home to obviously record anything. I won't be playing any games. Uh, so I wouldn't really expect anything soon. I'll try to do at least like one multiplayer video before the end of the week, but it'll still be trash because I'm, I'm not involved enough in the game to want to sit down and like grind out training mode to like master stuff. So I'll still suck. But I'll try to get you at least a multi one multiplayer video before I go on vacation. Uh, so yeah, that's that. That's some injustice. Hope you enjoyed me being terrible, because there's a lot more of that to come.